as I have shared before, I can't tell you how powerful an experience this is for many of these students for whom being in this building today was their first experience with their own government. This morning we had roughly 150 of our high school age students. Today we have seven of our adult students and I'm going to provide them an opportunity to speak and share their story. I grew up in Afghanistan and I came to the United States on 2013 and now I'm senior at Castleton University. Every student, I encourage everyone who I know to apply for VZEC and it's, it's very, very helpful. It's very incredible. I'm actually a dairy farmer, went back to school to do nursing because of the dairy industry and because of this aging body, couldn't quite keep up with the youngers. In, in all the chores of the farm work requires. But thank you very much for VSAC. Thank you for those that have helped us behind the scenes, which would include VSAC, to get through school without the emotional and financial stresses. Being a VSAC Gear Up student in high school, I had access to, to scholarships and grants and later a loan that has not only allowed me to start college, but stay in college. I've now made it to my senior year at Northern Vermont University Johnson, uh, double majoring in studio art and journalism with a 3.8 GPA. <laughs> my journey with VSAC actually started 20 years ago. When I first got out of high school, I wanted to go to college, so I started to go to college at CCB, and I was going for a degree in graphic design. Uh, a couple semesters after that, I found out I was pregnant with my firstborn child and I dropped out. Three years ago, I went through a divorce which guided me to come back to school so I could figure out a way to better support me and my kids. I am now back at CCB going for a degree in graphic design and I also like psychology. I could focus on many challenges that I've had, but the one thing that I want to focus on my goals for the future is to inspire people to become the best version of themselves. During my last few semesters, I fell ill and was out of work for three weeks and hospitalized. And in that time, my electricity was shut off in my house. I have two small children, I need to do homework, and I was panicking and VSAC had told me that they had a micro grant for that. VSAC has absolutely turned my life around and I will be telling everybody I know in my situation that it's not too late to start and that they, they can move forward with their aspirations. As I came to the U.S. through U.S. Refugee Resettlement Program in 2011, I came with the determinations that education is my religion. I was really focused on that I want to go for my doctoral degrees. To go through that, there are a lot of hurdles in between. Visak has given that life for many of the immigrants that I know in my community, and it has given a life for me. Without that, without knowing a lot about the financial aid thing for going to the college would not have been possible. We are so grateful that VSAC uh, is here to help students navigate all of these crazy things. We have, I realize, a lot of work to do in making, uh, making higher education affordable but are so proud of the resources we have in Vermont to do that. And we're so happy to have you here. Um, we're really excited that you are as engaged as you are, and this absolutely is your state house, and we need your voice here. So thanks for being here. Oftentimes when we come and we talk about the power of the money that you give us to support students, it's easy for us and for you to think about the investment that we're making in that individual. But as you heard tonight, each one of these students is committed absolutely to paying what you gave them forward. And the investment that you're making today is truly an investment in the future of Vermont. So thank you for your support and thank you for being here.